Hi kids, today we're thinking about God loves me. You might have seen these symbols before or maybe today is the first time. These symbols are called the four points and they help us remember the good news message of Jesus, the gospel message. A symbol is a picture, a letter or a sign that makes us think of something else. So today we'll be looking at the first symbol. We're looking at the heart. When you see a heart, what does it usually mean? That's right, it means love. So what might the symbol of a heart mean for us? That's right, that God loves us. This heart means God loves me. So let's all say together those words. God loves me. Now let's say it again in a high voice. God loves me! And now say it in a low voice. God loves me. And again in a whisper this time. God loves me. Well done. So today we've looked at this first symbol, the heart. And over the next few weeks we'll be looking at the other symbols. The other symbols are an X, which means I've done something wrong, a cross, which means that Jesus died for me, and a question mark, which is meaning that I've got to decide to live for God. So let's go back to the first symbol, the heart. Can you remember? What does it mean? Yes, a God loves me. You've got it. Well, our Bible story today was about the Last Supper. That was the last meal that Jesus ate with his friends. Jesus showed his disciples, his friends, that he loved them so much that he would be willing to die for them. That's how much God loves you and me. And Jesus passed around the bread to his friends in that meal and he broke it into pieces. And Jesus knew that his body was going to be hurt badly and broken. Yet he was willing for that to happen because he loves you and me. God loves us so much that he would do anything for you, as long as it doesn't break his holy laws. So remember this week that God loves you. See you soon. Bye.